Get him, Mike. Oh my god, that's too big. Oh, this is the perfect size. That's the size we want right there. All right, these are chubs, and uh, these are our walleye baits. Mike. That's nice. That's the perfect size. Explain what we got going on right now. So we're oh. chub fishing. Chub fishing. Usually we use um, a thing called a maggot, which is just a larvae stage of a fly, but extra long shank. I don't know, it's like a 10 or something. Um, and with maggots, you just put them on there and you can reuse them multiple times, but right now, um, we're using red worms. That's our first one. Well, that we're your plug we're, guy, we're Mike. going back in. All right, a little split shot. A little split shot. Up oh, there's one. Whoa! He's on. Great. Oh, oh my god. Off. That was a nice one, Mike. I know. And you could smoke these things in the net. Oh, those ones over there are way too little. We want the bigger ones. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. This is perfect size. <laughs> That's a pretty big one, but it'll work. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a nice bait, Joe. Oh, yeah. What in the Sam heck is going on here? Those are as big as, uh, some, some uh, what's the, the ones we always catch? Those look like bass. No, what's the ones we always catch? No, they got the precious bait. Oh, Almighty, you can't be scaring me, Joey. All right, we don't. Our aerator doesn't work, so we, we're not. We can't do anything. Yeah, we can. It'll be all right. Do you have another aerator? No, no you're gonna have to figure out how. To, what's wrong with it? All right. Take it apart or something. So you hooking a worm on there? It's pretty plain and simple. We went around to a couple different chub spots and we're just looking for deep water. Um, we're gonna catch one more. We're gonna show you guys catch one more and then we're gonna probably pick about 20 or 25 of them, put them in the bucket. Maybe not that many because I don't know if aerator's gonna work. Mike's looking at me very suspectly with his hat beanie going on. Oh yeah, I got the beanie thing going on. Get him, Mike. Oh Mike, they're aggregating on you. Yeah. Oh, he was a nice one. Problem is, is I can't see him eat it. See, the problem I don't was, have I don't have maggots. If I'd have had a maggot, it'd just all be over. Right, they're all over it. No, he smoked it. Oh, that is a he pretty... smoked it. We want to try to save the. What do you think worm. about What do you think about Mike catching Dean's? They would eat a sabiki, Joe. These things. No. Yeah. Nah. Joey. I don't know. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, they would. No, they wouldn't. <laughs> they would not. Trust me. I've, okay. I've thrown I've thrown the kitchen sink at him. They like live bait. All right, so we're gonna catch a couple more of these beautiful, beautiful chubs. Real quick before we do that, you guys got to see how we caught the worms. So we're going back to the house. All right, real quick, we are back at the house and then we're gonna go back to chub fishing, but we wanna show you guys how to catch the bait for chubs. So we're just catching these little like earthworms uh, under these rocks. It's the same thing that bears do in the woods that flip under rocks. And eat a worm? Yeah. A bear? Yeah, bear. They'll flip over rocks and um, they look for like the little grubs and earthworms and stuff. I thought bears eat um, big stuff. Well they eat like berries and stuff too. But basically we're just lifting it up and looking for them. Oh there's one. No? No these are these are like freaking. I'm talking about this. These are like Stranger Things Demogorgon looking things. <laughs> um, no there's none under here. Oh yeah there is. Oh. We have those back home, right? Yeah, they're just like earthworms. Wait, wait, let me focus on it. So that's catching our chub, Joe. Yep. Catching bait to catch our bait. All right, so we got a Gatorade bottle. We need to get like 30, 20 or 30 of them. We only have four right now. <laughs> so we got a little bit of hunting to do. Yeah, we're gonna pick some worms. You guys don't need to see us catch too many of those. It's fire pit. Drop a like on this video right now before we get to the walleye fishing. If you guys are enjoying this little West Virginia series, I know it's a completely, completely different type of fishing. You guys are used to see me just over the rail into the pail, commercial fish in salt water. And now we're in West Virginia. Oh, Joey found another one. Doing some relaxing hunting, a little bit of freshwater fishing. I think we're gonna go steelhead fishing at the end of the trip. So like I said, drop a like on this video, comment. Let me know if you guys are liking um, this style of videos. I really enjoy filming new things. I kind of get tired of filming the same thing over and over. 
and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. I'll see you guys back in the water. boys and girls you guys didn't see any footage of me catching but I did lay up on some chubs there we got probably about 20 baits Mike says that's plenty CJ I know you're watching this and you don't feel comfortable with that but it's how it is up here in West Virginia Pennsylvania Pennsylvania also I do think the Guido stash will get tight once again um, now we're heading to the walleye spot secret spot secret spot Mike is again. I'm actually gonna have the coordinates in the description of this video if you guys want to come here. Mike said I could do that, so yeah. see you at the spot. Ah. I'm good. I was just moving quick. Boys, we just got down here to the river. Does the water always look like this on the bank? Always. What do you think? Because it's such a deep hole, like the water. Oh. It's nope. not flowing as much yeah. as like see up there. The middle, that's super shallow. Right. So that's why it's super ripply, and this is where the fish sit because water is deep, a lot of structure. I'm gonna give you the lay down of this hole. It starts clear up there where those riffles are. And there's a tributary that comes in that they stock. So there's a lot of walleyes in here. There's a lot of muskies. But the main part of the channel is, see these white, this white scum? Yeah. Where, where it stops, like you'll see it out there about, I don't know, maybe 30, 30 yards. From there over is the best fishing. So when you cast, you want to cast into like the middle there and you want to you want to kind of like bounce it down. But right off of here, I mean, we can wait out a little bit, maybe like 15 feet, but then it drops down okay. and it gets, I mean, it's over your head. And the most important part of fishing, Mike, is visual, right? You got to be able to see. Yeah. I'm grabbing a bait here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to live bait. Whoa, were these cold? Mike, these are real cold. Mike, no. He's going turkey. Joey's tight? I don't know if I Mike, I don't have any holes. Don't, 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 don't. Don't, don't start running out there and go over your head. Just because I'm out here, the hole's right there. I'm out further than you because it's the beginning of it. Right there, it's way over your head. You'd have been swimming. You'd have taken two more steps, you were gone. You would have pulled a Jason Bird. Did he do that? He was trying to cross. Not here, but he was just in front. Oh. Coming to you, Shotty. And it's not like cast and cast every time. A lot of times, 
Like my buddy would just stand here for a half hour and he'd be, he'd be like, there's my nibble. And I'm like, get the out of here because I'm telling you, I feel my mini moving. And then all of a sudden he'd hook up. Hmm. He, he was really good figuring out this hole. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to figure it out. He had a lot of patience. Five feet deep right where you just cast. Okay. If you can get it without snagging and just, you know, like you're just doing when you get it into the hole day and you can give it some line. And they're usually going to eat at the top of the hole as soon as it drops off. Can we go trout fishing? Yeah. That's the size we use. That's the bug. That's a blue wing at all. Where, where are you looking? That little... Oh, okay. I see it. Right yeah, I there. saw, I saw there's it. another one. Look how there's just tons and of... And the water's them. clear? No, right now. Like, it, 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 today's like a good blue wing at all of this. The water would be like this when trout fishing? Yeah, and they come up and you see them eat and you're like, oh, what and you can't see them when they're over there. You got to be right on top to know that they're eating blue wing and all of them. You just got to know the river. I mean, look how many thousands of them are down here. But there's, they're, they're not going to eat right here. We just don't have fish on. Snag. Fish. Get the net, Jojo. Get the net. You, are you? Are you? Are you? Uh, are you filming? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, sn I'm gonna scoop it up below you. So you just keep playing. All right. Feel like a nice one? Hmm. Yeah, he's got some decent head shakes. Steer him towards me. Definitely a nice fish. You want to steer him towards me? Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. It's a little bass, a little smallmouth. Huh? Oh, that's not little. That's a nice one. Good job. First smallmouth boys and girls ever. Ever? That's pretty sick. I want to catch. You guys don't have big smallmouth here? Yeah, we got some 25 inches in here. I, I, I go by pounds. What do you. Uh, yeah, what, yeah. What, what, what is that pounds wise? Four pounds, five pounds. Oh boy. Yeah. I want, I want your mini, so don't throw it away. I'm going to use it now. Uh, no, it, it, it's probably dead, but I'm going to use it. Beautiful fish. I got to get a pick of this. Yeah. All right, first smallmouth. Pretty little fish. Nothing too special about him, but... See ya. Hopefully we can catch a walleye or something. I want to switch to artificial on a little bit. I think I can get on a good grub bite, but get back to it. A little split shot with my mud minnow. I know my hook's messed up right now, but, and I'm just drifting. I just found him tap it and slowly pull on it. So, I don't know. It's kind of like fishing back home with finger mullet. Kind of, sort of. I don't know. Let's do it again. What do you want me to do? Nothing. I got it. Switched over to a little jig. Laid up on him. That was a voodoo thump, Joey. What's it? Is it a smallie or is it? I don't a know. Thump? I don't know. Walleye. Oh my God! It's a big one. Get him on the bank. Walk over to the bank. Clip him on the bank. We'll keep him. He's hooked good. Yeah, you think so. Smoke the jig. Smoke Wish I was filming for that. I didn't think I'd get bit that quick. First cast, just bouncing off the bottom. That was up on the rock shallow, Mike, right there. Yeah, yeah. Smoked it, dude. Maybe that's the hole where they're sitting. That was cool. That was really cool. You laid up on that thing, Mike. Holy, holy smokes. All right, where am I um, popping his throat or doing nothing? I just put it in the bucket with water, no? Mike? Huh? I just put water in the five gallon? No, that, Joey's bag has a stringer. Well, go ahead, put it in the, yeah, you can, you can put it in that one. He's just gonna flop around like crazy. That's all right, I'm gonna kill him, no? Yeah, bleed him, go ahead. That's what I'm, I, I don't know. All I know is when like, from cold water, obviously I don't fish up here, but like these fish get so lazy and lethargic because it's cold like that old guy was saying. So they just want something like, 
just barely moving past her face. But that doesn't make sense that they don't need the split shot. I guess it's moving too quick. All I was doing was this. Just letting it drift. I got a hole in my waiter. Do you? Oh, I'm no. I've been here when it's been freaking five, six inches of snow. And <laughs> that sounds no thankful. Yeah, the reason you caught that is you hit you hit the hole in the right spot. I got one. Get him. Oh, oh, you should have laid into him. Oh, you got him. Yeah, you came back him. for the scraps there, Mike. Huh? That's a nice fish. Yeah, might have been the one I had. No, 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 I was right. Hold, do you see the reel just fly backwards? Yeah. <laughs> That's not healthy. Yeah, hey, don't be ripping on my stuff, okay? What in the frick is that? That's a, that's a, that's a saw guy. That's a beautiful fish. It's real pink, right? Yeah, it's a saw guy. Mike. Those, those are awesome. Joey, put a grub on. Screw lie bait. We're gonna let him go. Yeah, but that's a, I gotta get a picture with that thing. <laughs> no! Mike! He's right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm in the brush. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in the thickets. Oh, that's a beautiful what? side guy. That's a sick fish. That's a sick fish. I want to throw him back in though. Okay? Yeah, no, for sure. I just want to grab a picture. Just caught this beautiful little saw guy. That's a crazy looking fish. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It looks like a snakehead, dude. Yeah, but it is. Let's get some pictures with the brush in the back. So sick. Mike got a bite right there. We're going to go ahead and let this. This is such a cool fish. We're going to go ahead and let it go. So don't put it underwater. It's not waterproof. Saw guy. Palm Beach release. That was sick. Joe, put a grub on. Yeah. That was literally three casts, two fish. All right, boys and girls. I'm trying to rattle trap now because I lost my jig. And uh, Mike told me he wanted to leave the tackle box at home, so I want I left it at home for him. Kidding, Mike. Don't blame it on me. Oh my gosh, my toes are freaking Jerry Kringles. I bet the cold's good for your body, though. For your body? I'm not gonna hit you, Joe. Dude, if you want, you can start cleaning it up. Make sure there's no garbage on the ground or anything. All right, well, the fishing's pretty slow. But all we're doing is I'm just casting this grub up current. Caught two sock eyes, or I don't know what they're called. One nice walleye and a, and a nice little smallmouth. That was on live bait, but everything else was on artificial. Just a smallmouth on live bait. Mike says he's caught a smallmouth down there. I didn't see him catch it. What's up, Mike? Hey, what's up, buddy? You popping yourself again? Yeah, and uh, I'm just popping this thing. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm never fish here in my life. And I'm just, I'm, I feel like I'm goofy jigging here. All right, you guys, fishing wasn't too great, but we did catch a first walleye, um, sockeye, correct me if I'm saying that wrong. Sauger. 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 And the smallmouth for me. So, I'm not complaining. I had fun. Um, we had a long hike back to the house, or to the car, and then going back to the crib. And uh, we're going to do a catch, pen cook. Eat this walleye up. Uh. Look how iridescent those eyes are. They're night nighttime feeders. How Very snook esque. Oh, are, are they nighttime feeders? Yeah. So this is good plug by tonight. Yes, correct. So it's probably about to get good. Yeah. Let's grind it out. Kidding. I'm ready to go, but I'll see you guys back at the car. I found one more little jig here. I had to keep it real with them, Joe. It was a big crankbait guy. He didn't even want to get back in the water. He's so cold. Mike, you gonna catch something for me? I, I just had three snags. I was close to them getting. I hear you. Really do. Crankbait is gonna be the way to go. Oh my god! He... Thanks, Mike. Nice job. 
laid up on me. That's a, that's a little fish there. That's a little Sam Heck. Oh, a little bit of crab. Sockeye? I don't think so. Or sauger. So if it's, it doesn't look like it. See ya. It looks like straight up all out. Here's one snag. Nice. That's that same snag that Joey kept getting me into. I lost my grub. I'm done. I got it. I'm about to. I don't even feel good. I got it so bad. All right, you guys, we're back in the kitchen. Just got a bite to eat. We just got some pizza. Pizza's good here up in West Virginia. And I'm going to give the camera to Joey, and I'm going to clean this wall's eye up. Beautiful fish we got here. It's, it smells and seems very snook-esque. I looked it up. I guess the fillets are holy. We're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to do, do a change of knife here. Uh, it's supposed to be very snook-esque, but... Then again, I don't know. By the way, I don't have one of my Dexters because we were up in Nantucket flying. Come on this side of me, Joe. And it's crazy. You don't even have to put these fish on ice. We just literally just, literally just had it in a bucket and it's freezing. Not even with water. It's freezing cold just because it's so cold here. And it's 29 degrees. Uh, that looks phenomenal. Mike, come over here. Wow. Call me Beverly Dangus. This meat looks good. Looks amazing. You've never eaten walleye, right? I have. Mm. That's super snuck ass, Joey. With the veins. Yes, and even the meat color, no? Mm -hmm. Let's see if it smells like a snooks. It smells like a bass. It smells bass ass. All right, we're going to go ahead and skin it now. This is gonna be good. I, I can guarantee it with everything I have, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good. I gotta cut they got some serious pin bones here. Because now gotta cut the pin bones out of the middle. A little bit of rib cage. Pin bones. Boom. We're good to go. That is a beautiful, beautiful walleye fly. We're gonna bag this up and then either cook this late tonight or tomorrow morning for breakfast or something. Mike's laughing. Mike's laughing because we haven't cooked the pheasant yet. Um, but no, we're gonna do this either tonight or tomorrow and then. All right, boys and girls, it is the next morning and we're in the kitchen and we're leaving tonight. But before we do that, we gotta cook this walleye up. So, I'm, I'm going very, very plain and simple because, well, number one, I have to sneeze. <sighs> number two, I've never had walleye, so I want to try it. So, I'm literally just doing olive oil, salt, and pepper. That is all we're doing. Get a little bit of olive oil here in the pan. Or olive oil for chance back home watching. Just like that. Just a little bit. Just to get things moist. And, uh... Then, I'm only, I'm only, I am only i even only do one side. So this is, this is what's suspect to me. Joey said it's just because of the fresh water. I cut this yesterday, or two days ago. And it already, the bloodline doesn't, doesn't look good. But, and you guys know back home, salt water would not. The bloodline would have been, would have been way worse if you didn't bleed it. But, uh, and it's normal. It doesn't taste bad yeah, at all. Yeah, but it looks foul, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, and that other thing is, a little bit of pepper and then a little bit of salt literally just on one side and that is all we're doing because I want to get the flavor and tell you guys what this thing really tastes like that's it now I'm gonna cook this other piece flip it see when it's done this super simple catch clean cook I just want to try it I want to say thank you so much to Mike thanks Yank and he's outside and he's outside for having us here and uh, making this trip possible. And thanks to Joey for making this trip possible. It's been really fun. Hopefully we can kill a deer tonight. Cook this other piece. Mmm, so good.
looks and smells delicious. I heard walleye is supposed to be just like snook, if not better. So, and you guys know I love snook back home. This this looks like very flaky meat. I think it's done. We're gonna go ahead and take it off. Joey! All right. Let's check it out. Be go, gritters. That looks good, Joe. All right, we're gonna try this walleye. I'm allergic to the cold or something because I'm sneezing here. Hey, you could be allergic to it. Walleye? Yeah, you touched it. No. All right. I'm allergic to this. something on this jacket that's making me sneeze like crazy. That looks super good. That looks very flaky. Wow. That's that's flaky. No doubt. Look at this, Joe. It, it reminds me of flounder. Mm-hmm. Here. Mm. Mm. Gotta let Joe try it. That's good. Mike! Yeah? Come here. You never had. You guys enjoy it. I get, I get that all the time. I'm trying to think of what it tastes like. Flounder. You think so? I think so. It's flaky, like mega yeah, uh -huh. flaky, like the little flakes, not like snuff. It's almost flakes. like a yellow tail, in my opinion. Yeah, it is, cause it's kind of mushy. But it's not as it's mushy not as a yellow tail. Yellow tail. I personally, I don't like yellow tail because they're so mushy. I don't know. That's good, though. That's good. It's really good. We're going to finish up this little meal. This is breakfast. I don't know. It's like 10 o'clock. And we're shooting a deer tonight. If you guys have not seen that video yet, it's either already out or it's not out. So stay tuned because it's coming. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. Right now, we're doing a little recreational trip in West Virginia, and I'm loving it. So... This none of this would be possible without you guys. So I want to thank you so much for making this possible. Thanks, Mike and Joe. No problem. Thanks, Mike. Yes, sir. Um, drop a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought. Till next time. Moving weight out.